The early autumn in the mountains is exceptionally cold. The sky has not yet revealed its outline, and there is a slight ray of dawn in the foggy shadow of the eastern sky, and the dense rain of autumn insects is constantly heard among the mountains and grasses of the vast mountains. As the dawn gradually lit up, a crescent moon had descended from the top of the forest, and the crisp birdsong gradually sounded in the mountains and forests. Suddenly, two little shadows rushed down from the cliff beside the valley like meteors, a cat-sized leopard covered with yellow and black stripes, and a childish little leopard only fourteen or five years old. The boy rushed towards him. The little boy had a special small bow and arrow hanging on his body, and a small machete unique to the mountains was pinned to his waist. Okay, with a vigorous shout, the galloping leopard suddenly stopped, and the boy behind took a leap and climbed over a large willow tree three or four meters high beside the leopard, standing on a dangling the swaying wicker rose and fell with the wicker, and he shouted Grandpa in a loud voice. An old man with a face full of vicissitudes stood up slowly from the hillside, Wan Lin, let Grandpa see your arrows, and then threw a handful of gravel in his hand into a bush thirty meters away. The bird with the name chirped from the bushes. Bang 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 several bowstrings sounded, and the three birds had already landed in response. There is progress. With the cheers, the old man threw another handful of gravel in his hand, and seven or eight little birds followed, go pick up the birds, clean them up and pickle them, let's go back to study. Okay you can give me some pointers on my flying stones and bird strikes later. I can only hit two or three with a handful of gravel. The vast fog in the mountains gradually faded away with a burst of sunlight. The grandfather and grandson followed the little leopard slowly towards the thatched cottage halfway up the mountain. Suddenly, the little leopard let out a short, low roar, the old man heard the sound and flashed behind a thick pine tree. Wan Lin made a leap and jumped onto a tree branch more than two meters high, the little leopard crouched tightly at the old man's feet. What did you see? The old man asked in a low voice, the trees on the left side are shaking violently, as if large animals are fighting. Wan Lin replied in a low voice, takes Yao Hua to see it, the old man whispered. With the voice, Wan Lin took a small flower to the left side of the mountain from the tree like an arrow from the string. As soon as they approached the forest, they heard two gunshots, followed by a miserable howl. Wan Lin swooped behind the tree and took off the bow and arrow on his back. Then slowly touched the forest. In a clearing in the forest, a big man in a green camouflage uniform was holding a dagger in his left hand and a pistol in his right hand, leaning against a tree with a pale face, a wolf with blood on his neck lying beside his feet, more than three meters in front of him. In the distance there were two on their backs. Three big wolves about one meter long were distributed around the tree and stared at the big man fiercely. The big man's body leaning against the tree swayed a little, and the hand holding the gun was shaking slightly. Injured? Didn't you see any wounds on his body? Wan Lin thought to himself. Suddenly, the big wolf in front of the big man opened his mouth and slammed towards the big man. Wan Lin didn't have time to think about it, he raised his hand and shot an arrow, and the little flower at his feet also rushed out. The arrow shaft was deeply inserted into the big wolf's neck, and the big wolf fell over with a scream. At this moment, the little leopard jumped up from four or five meters away and threw itself on the back of the other wolf, with its right paw tightly clasped on the side of its neck, and its eyes were staring at the other wolf with a sudden blue light. The wolf that was stared at by the blue light stepped back again and again, wanted to run but didn't dare, and looked at the little leopard squatting on his companion's back with fear. The big wolf, who was restrained by the little leopard, lay on the ground trembling all over, staring at his companions as if calling for help. Wan Lin glanced at the big wolf under the little leopard, and saw that its bulging belly was probably a pregnant shwolf. He waved at the little leopard and the little leopard jumped off the shwolf, raised his head and roared. The two big wolves let out a low howl in relief, then turned around and got into the dense forest. Wan Lin turned his head and glanced at the big man, and saw that he was sitting crooked under the tree, his head drooping in front of his chest, and he had passed out. The pistols and daggers were scattered on the grass. 
Wang Lin hurried over to pick up the dagger and pistol and put them in his waist, and then carefully observed the big man. Seeing that there were no scars on his body, he was wondering when the little leopard suddenly stretched out his right paw and swayed on the big man's left leg. Wan Lin he quickly reached out and rolled up the big man's trouser legs, and sure enough, he found a small triangular hole in his right calf that was bleeding out. Bitten by a snake. Xia Hua, save him. Wan Lin pointed to the wound, Xia Hua lowered her head and stuck out her tongue to lick the big man's wound. After a while, seeing the big man's furrowed brow seemed to stretch a little, Wan Lin leaned over and easily picked up the 167 POUND big man and ran out of the forest. Grandpa, a soldier, was bitten by a snake. It's quite powerful. Three wolves were killed when bitten by a snake, Wan Lin, who hurried to the front of the house, shouted at his grandfather. The old man standing in front of the house took the big man and put him on the Kong in the house. Then he took a closer look and saw that the big man lying on the Kong was a colonel in a camouflage uniform with two three stars hanging on his shoulders, with a painful expression on his face. I was bitten by a white snake. Grandpa looked at his wound, took out the knife at his waist and made a small cross on the big man's wound, carefully squeezed out the poisonous blood, and then took out a small green bamboo tube from the small bamboo basket on the head of the Kong. Pour the white powder in the tube onto the soldier's wound. It's okay, Xia Hua has already licked him, Wan Lin said beside him. After taking the medicine, the two grandfather and grandson quietly looked at the soldier lying on the Kong, and saw that he had a face with Chinese characters, thick eyebrows raised upwards, and his face showed a resolute look. Give him some water. Grandpa frowned and ordered Wan Lin. As soon as the words fell, the soldier on the Kong suddenly made a low sound. He's awake, Wan Lin called. The soldier opened his eyes and rolled over to sit up. Don't move, you were bitten by a snake. Wan Lin quickly supported the soldier. The soldier looked at his grandparents and grandchildren, and then looked at the surrounding environment. I saw that the furnishings in the house were very simple, with only some ordinary daily necessities. The only thing that stood out was a large antique bookshelf standing against the wall, which was full of rows of books. Where did you come from, and why did you come to this deep mountain and forest? Grandpa glanced at the pistol and dagger that Wan Lin put aside, and asked in a low voice. I'm looking for Mr. Wan Hong, I'm Wan Ming's comrade in arms, the soldier replied weakly. Hearing the soldier's answer, the old man's body shuddered and his squinted eyes suddenly shot a ray of light. He stared at the soldier without saying a word, and stared at the soldier for a while before slowly saying, you should rest for a while. Turning around and walking out of the thatched hut, Wan Lin felt the dullness of the air, got up and poured a bowl of water and placed it next to the soldier, uncle, drink some water. He also turned and walked outside the house. With a long dry tobacco bag in his hand, Grandfather sat on the small bamboo bench in the courtyard, smoking the dry tobacco one after another, and the hand holding the tobacco bag was trembling slightly. Cough cough. Two light coughs came from the door. Hey, why are you getting up? Wan Lin hurried over to support the soldier. The soldier stroked Wan Lin's head with his hand, Are you Wan Lin? How do you know my name? Wan Lin asked in surprise. I'm your father's comrade in arms, my name is Li Dongsheng, the soldier said. Then he looked at the old man, are you Mr. Wan Hong? Without waiting for the old man to answer, he joined his heels and gave the old man a standard military salute. Seeing the soldier saluting, the old man slowly stood up, looked directly at Li Dongsheng, and asked slowly, he's gone. Hearing the old man's question, Li Dongsheng burst into tears and choked, report to the old gentleman, Li Dongsheng came to visit you and Wan Lin at the request of Wan Ming during his lifetime. Hearing Li Dongsheng's words, the old man swayed for a while, his eyes that were full of light gradually dimmed, and he slowly sat down on the bamboo bench. Wan Lin stared blankly at Li Dongsheng. Wan Lin had no impression of his father or mother. Since he was sensible, only his grandfather has depended on him for life. 
I just remember that my grandfather knocked him up with a thin bamboo every day before dawn, and asked him to practice stance, luck and some unknown movements, after he finished practicing, he would also learn to read and endorse with his grandfather, at night, grandpa forced him to lie down in a large wooden tub that smelled of pungent medicine. Year after year, day after day, in addition to practicing and reading, Xiao Wanlin spends the rest of his time taking the little leopards to hunt all over the mountains and fields. In order to keep up with the speed of the little leopard, Wanlin used the light gong mental method handed down from his family to practice his skills as fast as the little leopard. Now even his grandfather can't keep up with his speed. When hunting, his grandfather instructed him to use family kung fu to fight with leopards, bears, wild boars and other large animals with bare hands. Now 15 years old, he has been able to subdue a large wild boar weighing more than 100 kilograms with tusks with his bare hands, and directly confront the big leopard with his bare hands without any damage. But in the past 10 years, Grandpa never mentioned his father and mother to him. Whenever Grandpa took him out of the mountains and used mountain goods and animal skins to exchange necessities in the town, when he saw that there were fathers and mothers around children of the same age as him, he always pestered his grandfather to ask his parents, and every time he exchanged Ruthless harshly reprimanded. Sit down. Grandpa pointed to the small bamboo bench in the yard and slowly said to the soldier. This is a letter and relic that Wan Ming asked me to give you before he died. The soldier took out a letter and a small cloth bag soaked in blood from the small bag slung around his waist. The old man slowly opened the letter, Father, if this letter is in your hands, it means that the unfilial son is no longer in this world. Please forgive your son's unfilial piety no matter what. Since the great changes in the family thirteen years ago, after my son killed all the beasts, Yu Kanchu www.yuyuganchu.com directly followed the soldiers who killed the beasts together with my son and left without saying goodbye. Because I know that the ancestors of the family taught that they could never walk out of the mountains for the rest of their lives. Joining the army, you must not use family martial arts to hurt others. But I have a world-shattering kung fu, but I can't even protect my own wife. Am I still a man who stands upright? Help the kill them all. Otherwise, I will never go home to see your old man. Li Dongsheng is a brother who was born and died with me. We are both comrades in the special team of the K military region. He is the captain. I entrust you and Linner to him. In addition, Linner is not too young. Now the times have changed. We Wang Jiakang have a peerless martial arts. We should go out and do something for the country. I hope you can let Li Dongsheng take Linner away and let him use us. Wang Jia's efforts serve the country. Brilliant son. After reading the letter, the old man trembled and opened the small cloth bag with blood. Inside was a thick stack of merit certificates, one for special merit, two for first class, a thick stack of second and third class merit certificates, and one more passbook. Colonel Li looked at the old man with tearful eyes and said, Wang Ming did not embarrass you, he was the deputy commander of our special corps before his death. In the most recent battle against foreign countries, he died honorably to save his comrades. These are the honors he got with his blood and life, and they are the highest reward given to him by the country. He used your martial skills to train an invincible special force for the motherland. I salute you on behalf of all the officers and soldiers of the special forces brigade after speaking, he stood up abruptly and gave the old man a military salute. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. Lin Er silently looked at the certificate of meritorious service left by her father, her eyes were full of running water. He finally knew that his father was a mighty soldier, but he didn't understand, why didn't Grandpa let him know all this? The old man turned his head, looked at Wan Lin with deep eyes, and said, Lin Er, your father left thirteen years ago. I never said why you left. I'll tell you all today. The old man's eyes turned to the lush mountains in the distance, our 10,000 families have lived in this mountain forest for more than 300 years, and no one has ever walked out of this mountain. Because our ancestors have taught me, 
to practice martial arts from generation to generation, we must not go out of the mountain to join the army, and we cannot use injuring people by force. It is said that the martial arts passed down by our family led to death, and our ancestors joined the army with peerless martial arts and made countless military exploits. I walked into this mountain in order to avoid disaster. Since then, my ancestors have specially set a rule that generations will not walk out of the mountain or join the army. Grandpa lit a bag of cigarettes and took a sip, slowly recounting what happened at that time. Wan Lin's mother is a very beautiful girl from the Yi nationality. She married Lin Er's father and gave birth to Lin Er a year later. In the early morning of Wan Lin's second birthday, Wan Lin's father Wan Ming smiled and said to his father, Today your grandson's birthday, I will go into the mountains to hunt a leopard. We will eat leopard meat at night. Let you when the grandson grows up, he will be as strong as a leopard. After saying that, he took the bow and arrow and the waste knife and went into the mountain. Wan Lin's mother also came out of the kitchen at this time, carrying a bamboo basket on her back and said she was going to pick some fresh mushrooms in the mountains. But in the afternoon, Wan Ming came back carrying a leopard, but Lin Er's mother didn't come back. Wan Ming said to his father, It's been so long, I'm going out to look for it. Two or three hours later, he came back with his reedy daughter-in-law in his arms. Wan Lin's grandfather ran over and asked, What's the matter? Wan Ming said with anger in his eyes, Lin Er's mother let the beasts ruin it to death. Buried. After returning, Wan Ming ran out without saying a word, holding a bow and arrow and a machete. Once he left, there was no news for three days. On the morning of the third day, the old man opened the door and saw a little leopard that he had never seen before and was just a few days old and a letter in a bamboo basket. The old man opened the letter and saw that it was written, Dad, I'm leaving. I have already killed several beasts who harmed Liner's mother. It is said that these beasts have accomplices. I must kill them all, otherwise I will not be ashamed to come back to see you and your friends. Lin Er after the old man finished telling all this, he looked up at Wan Lin and said, I haven't seen him since then. I haven't told you about them for so many years, because I'm afraid you won't be able to control the sad things you hear. Staying on your own will affect your practice. Now that you have grown up, and you have almost mastered your Kung Fu, it is time to let you know this. Colonel Lee followed his grandfather's words and continued, On that day, we received information that a foreign drug trafficking group with a batch of drugs and arms to be smuggled in from abroad. Due to repeated blows by our frontier armed police, this group of criminals hired them at a high price. Escorted by several bodyguards of the very famous Flying Fox mercenaries in Southeast Asia, the Y Province police lost more than a dozen armed police soldiers in the subsequent encirclement and suppression. For this reason, the Frontier Armed Police requested support from our military region, so I led the special team the eight team members of the gang ambushed in the middle of the mountainside where the criminals must pass through, preparing to completely wipe out this group of outlaws. Just as we were about to launch an attack, we only heard a few bowstrings, and the five mercenaries who followed the convoy with guns fell down, and then we saw a meteor-like figure flying from the grass in the valley. When he got up, I saw him swinging his hands, and the three mercenaries who had just turned their guns fell down again. As the figures fell to the ground, we only heard a few screams. We were all stunned at the time. After a few years, I have been familiar with various combat techniques in the world, but I have never seen such a quick and neat kung fu, and in an instant, eight flying fox mercenaries and ten armed traffickers composed of veterans of special forces from various countries were eliminated. When we rushed to the scene shouting Huaxia soldiers, your father's eyes were red and he stared blankly at the eighteen gangsters on the ground motionless. Of the eight mercenaries, five were shot with arrows in the neck, and three were a piece of gravel was placed between the eyebrows. The other ten armed escorts were all killed with a knife in the neck. The whole process took less than twenty seconds before and after, so that the mercenaries didn't even have time to fire a shot. Afterwards. Your father told me what happened before, and proposed to join the army to kill all these beasts. 
but he was afraid that your grandfather would use ancestral training to prevent him from joining the army, so he went to the deep mountains alone that night to dig out a newborn baby. Animals were sent to the front of the house as your toy-year-old birthday present, together with a letter to Grandpa, and followed us out of the mountain overnight. After I arrived in the army, I reported your father's situation directly to Minister Zhong of the Military Region Operations Department at that time, and Minister Zhong immediately met with your father and asked five Special Forces members to fight with your father. It only took five Special Forces in an instant. All the team members were knocked down. Minister Zhong was deeply shocked after seeing it, and immediately reported to the commander of the military region that he specially recruited your father to join the special force. After that, the brigade arranged for a number of instructors to train your father in various modern special operations skills such as weapon use, driving various vehicles, and field survival, and then directly entered the number 2 squadron to go out to perform tasks after half a year. During many missions, Due to your father's excellent combat skills and brave combat style, he has won many individual awards and collective honors, and was soon promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, Deputy Commander of Special Operations, and Chief Instructor of Martial Arts in the Brigade. In the latest operation to rescue the kidnapped hostages, we had a fierce battle with foreign terrorist organizations. After we rushed into the enemy's lair together, and after your father killed more than ten enemies alone, a dying bandit suddenly detonated a bomb. Your father was seriously injured in order to protect his comrades and knocked down the surrounding comrades with his body. Before sacrificing, let me hand this over to you and tell my father that he did not embarrass the Wan family, and I hope Wan Lin can pick him up and continue to use Wan Jia's ancestral skills to eliminate evil and serve the motherland. Colonel Lee said all this with tears on his face, turned his face to his grandfather and said, before coming, General Zhong Hanrui, the current commander of the military region, and Major General Gao Li, director of the military region's operations department, specially asked me to convey their condolences and greetings to the old gentleman, proud of you for having such an outstanding son, calling him the pride of the Chinese soldiers. On behalf of them, I salute you as an old soldier of the Republic. After speaking, he stood up and gave a majestic military salute to the old man. The old man quickly grabbed Colonel Li's hand, his eyes twinkling, and said to Wan Lin, Lin Er, you have heard about this, and you have almost learned the Kung Fu of our Wan family. It is up to you to decide whether to go out. After speaking, he slowly walked into the house. After listening to all this, Wan Lin seemed to be awakened from a dream, his eyes lost the original childishness, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu. Calm became deep and dignified, Uncle, what if I leave Grandpa? Li Dongsheng replied, I'm here to pick you up to the provincial capital. The original minister Zhong is now the commander of the military region. He said, no matter what you whether you agree to join the army or not, you will be taken over. Your father is a hero who sacrificed for the country, and we cannot leave the hero's family alone. Okay, Grandpa goes, then I'll go. Wan Lin turned around and walked into the house. He walked into the house and found that his grandfather was silently packing his belongings. Grandpa, shall we go? Wan Lin asked his grandfather, the old man turned around with a look of love that he had never seen before, stroking the top of Wan Lin's head and replied, Lin Er, you are old, Grandpa can't accompany you. For a lifetime. Talking. The old man pulled Wan Lin to his side, Grandpa is too old to live in the noisy city life. Go ahead, don't embarrass the Wan family, come back to see Grandpa when you have time. When Wan Lin heard his grandfather said he couldn't go to the city, his face flushed with anxiety, and he shouted loudly, If you don't go, I won't go anywhere. How can I leave you at home alone? Colonel Lai also went into the house to persuade the old man to go to the city with him. The old man looked at Colonel Li and shook his hand, and said, You are Wan Ming's brother who lived and died together. I will hand Wan Lin to you. I am old and I will not go anywhere. Just let Lin Er go with you. Turning around, he said to Wan Lin in a serious tone, Lin Er, 
we can't follow the instructions of our ancestors. Just as your father said, times have changed, so should the rules of our ancestors, it's time for our family to be born. Zhu, you must be like your father and use our 10,000 families' efforts to eradicate evil, resist foreign humiliation, honor our ancestors, and serve the country. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. The next morning, the three got up early. Grandpa took Wan Lin to his mother's grave on the opposite mountain. Wan Lin respectfully kowtowed three times at his mother's grave. Then Grandpa sent Wan Lin and Colonel Lee to the front of the house, took out the passbook that Wan Lin's father had sent with more than 400,000 yuan of deposits, and handed it to Wan Lin, saying, Take it, this is you. Dad bought it with blood and life, I don't need these in the mountains, you take it and take good care of yourself. After turning around, he walked into the room with blurred eyes, take the little flower with you, it is at a critical moment. Kin protect you. Wan Lin fell to his knees in the yard, choked with tears and said, Grandpa, take care of yourself, and kowtowed three times into the house. Then he got up and quietly put the passbook on the bamboo bench in front of the house, and called out Zia Hua, go. The trails in the mountains are rugged and uneven, from a distance, like a giant dragon entrenched in the mountains, winding up. The hillsides on both sides are dotted with many unknown wild flowers, which are colorful from a distance. Xiao Hua happily ran ahead of them, wagging her heavy tail as she ran. While walking, Colonel Li carefully observed Wan Lin and Xiao Hua. Wan Lin was not tall, less than 1.7 meters tall. He looked a little thin on the outside. She looks a little confused and dumb, Xia Hua looks lively and cute, with a body length of more than 30 centimeters, a round head, round eyes, with a slight yellow light in her eyes, four long and sturdy legs, dragging behind her. With a large heavy tail, the short body shows some characteristics of a leopard. I remember that the sounds of various animals in the mountains were very lively when I came here, but today I brought little flowers, but the mountains were very quiet. I could only hear the chirping of some insects and birds, but not the sounds of various large animals. What kind of animal is Xia Hua? Colonel Li asked, looking at the sullen Wan Lin, I don't know either. Don't think it's small, it's only been so big after me for more than ten years, and it's as big as a house cat. But Grandpa said that he had been in the mountains for decades and had never seen such an animal. I just heard the legend of the ancestors that there is a kind of king of the mountain in the mountains, maybe a small flower. Even the wild boars, bears, wild leopards and all kinds of poisonous snakes in the mountains. When it hides, I don't dare to take it when I go hunting. When I take it with all kinds of animals, I don't dare to move when I see it. I can clean it up. Take it with you, Wan Lin replied softly. Obviously he still hadn't recovered from the reluctance to leave his grandfather. Does it hurt? Colonel Lee asked worriedly, No, it only obeys my grandfather and I's orders, and I didn't order it not to bite animals, Wan Lin replied. After Colonel Lee listened, he quickly walked a few steps forward, came to Xia Hua, and reached out to touch Xia Hua, only to see Xia Hua suddenly turned around, bared his teeth and roared at Colonel Lee and there was a flash in his eyes. Rare blue light. Don't bite, this is Uncle Wan Lin hurriedly shouted. Hearing Wan Lin's voice, Xiao Hua wagged her tail at Colonel Li, the blue light in her eyes disappeared immediately, she turned and ran forward again. Wan Lin immediately said to Colonel Li, it won't let anyone approach it without my order. Okay. Colonel Li praised when Xiao Hua listened to Wan Lin's words so much. The two walked and chatted. Suddenly, I saw a forest shaking violently in a depression about 500 meters ahead, Xia Hua also suddenly stopped and turned her head to look at Wan Lin. Follow Xia Hua, Wan Lin instructed Xia Hua. Uncle Li, I'll let you take a look at Xia Hua's skills later. He pulled Colonel Li and ran to the COL in the distance. At a distance of 500 meters, Wan Lin floated to the COL in a blink of an eye. On a big locust tree three meters high, 
looking at Wan Linfen's same skill, Colonel Lee was taken aback. I saw a big agile leopard and a bear weighing 400 to 500 jin in a mountain col, fighting to the death for the corpse of a young deer. Obviously the leopard hit the prey, and the bear came to grab the food, so there was a fight. Ziahua, come on, Wan Lin called down to Ziahua who was quietly hiding. Ow! With Ziahua's short low roar, a lightning-like figure fell on the neck of the big leopard who was fighting fiercely. One sharp claw was tightly buckled at the leopard's intercarotid artery, and at the same time, two were blazing blue light. His eyes were fixed on the bear. I saw the fierce leopard just now crouched on the ground like a tame domestic cat, and its body kept shaking slightly, while the bear kept retreating under the blue light of Ziahua, trying to turn around and run away. Dare, just dodging the blue light of Ziahua fearfully. Stop, come here Wan Lin ordered. Hearing the order, Ziahua suddenly turned around and jumped, jumping to the tree where Wan Lin was at a distance of more than 30 meters, like an arrow from the string. Two blue light eyes constantly patrolled the two animals. The large and ferocious animals that were still fighting just now were just staring at Xiaohua with cringe eyes, not daring to take a step. Let go Wan Lin said to Xiaohua. Ow! With Xiaohua's triumphant roar, the two blue lights disappeared immediately, and the two animals turned around in relief and fled. Seeing this scene, Colonel Lee couldn't close his open mouth for a long time, and after a while he said, it's really the king of beasts. What you see is only its hunting ability. With it, all kinds of poisonous insects hide far away. Where did you get bitten by a poisonous snake? Wan Lin asked. Colonel Lai replied, I was bitten on a hillside more than twenty miles away from your house. At that time, I was a little tired after walking for six or seven hours, so I leaned against a tree and wanted to rest. But as soon as I closed my eyes, I felt pain in my leg, and when I opened my eyes, I saw a six or seven centimeter long white snake swimming away from my leg. It was very fast. I followed a few hungry wolves and surrounded me. It's over, but luckily you arrived in time. It's a small snake unique in the mountains. We call it the white flower snake. Don't look at its small size, it's very poisonous. But these snakes and insects are very afraid of the smell of small flowers, and they won't appear within 300 meters of my house. Okay. In my grandfather, there is a special powder for the treatment of this white flowered snake venom, Wan Lin said. Colonel Lee opened his eyes wide, and said in surprise, the smell of flowers can also drive away poisonous insects? Yes. Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com Ziahua's blood and saliva can detoxify hundreds of poisons. The powder that Grandpa gave you had two drops of Ziahua's blood mixed in, Wan Lin replied casually. Then he went on to say, this was also discovered by accident. I remember when I was a child, I ran alone in the mountains to play and was bitten by a white-flowered snake. At that time, I was in a coma. Fortunately, my grandfather took Ziahua to find me and saw me in a coma on the hillside. In the grass, Ziahua ran to me quickly, roared a few times, opened her mouth and tore my trouser legs, licked my wound with her tongue, and saw that the swollen calf quickly disappeared, and I woke up in a while. Afterwards, my grandfather told me that Ziahua's saliva and blood can detoxify all kinds of poisons. I deliberately took two drops of Ziahua's blood and prepared some medicinal powders for use. Those medicinal powders are your first use, because my grandfather and I have both. The smell of small flowers, poisonous snakes never come to us. I said why it's so fast. The person bitten by a poisonous snake has to lie down for a week with any good medicine, but I woke up right after taking the medicine, Colonel Lee sighed, speaking of which. Ziahua saved my life. Ah, Ziahua is such a baby. Yes, Ziahua grew up with me, just like my brother, we have never been separated, Wan Lin replied with a smile, leaning over and patting Ziahua's head. Colonel Li looked at Wan Lin and Xiaohua, and he was overjoyed, with Wan Jia's peerless kung fu and Xiaohua's ability as a beast master, 
how many casualties can be reduced during missions in the future. At the same time, I secretly swore in my heart, Brother Wanming, don't worry, I will protect your son with my life. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. Before they knew it, the two had walked for seven or eight hours. The sun has gradually fallen into the horizon, and the setting sun reflects the floating clouds and distant mountains in the western sky, a golden color. The mountains and forests are gradually quieting down Wan Lin suddenly turned his head and asked, Uncle, we are almost out of the mountain, how can we get there? It doesn't matter, my car is just outside the mountain, we will rush back to the training base overnight, Colonel Lee replied. The sky was getting dark, and Xiao Hua, who was running in front, suddenly stopped and let out a low growl, her eyes glowing with a hint of blue light. Colonel Lee immediately grabbed Wan Lin and asked, What's the situation? It's so late, no one should be out in the mountains, and it's definitely not a mountaineer, otherwise Xia Hua wouldn't sound a warning, Wan Lin wondered again. Let's go, let's hide and take a look, Colonel Lee said, taking out a gun and an extremely delicate military dagger from his waist. Since Colonel Lee was going into the mountains this time, he deliberately carried a weapon in order to prevent wild beasts from being infested. He handed the dagger to Wan Lin and said, I didn't ask you to bring a weapon this time. This knife was left by your father. It was originally planned to be given to you in the army, but now you can take it. Wan Lin heard that it was his father's relic, so he quickly took it with both hands, and gently pulled out the dagger from the sleeve. With the starlight gradually emerging from the sky, a cold light appeared from the sleeve. He held the dagger tightly in his hand, as if he was still I can feel the warmth of my father on the handle of the knife. Both of them have extraordinary quick skills. Under the leadership of Xia Hua, she jumped like a meteor and moved silently into the valley ahead. Suddenly, Xiao Hua jumped and ran up a boulder on the hillside, with a blue light emitting from her eyes. Seeing this, Wan Lin quickly jumped in too, throwing off Colonel Li and coming behind the boulder. In order to prevent Wan Lin from having an accident, Colonel Li also followed closely. At this time, the setting sun had completely disappeared from the west, and a curved moon and a few ray of stars had covered the valley with a silver-gray coat. The two slowly poked their heads out of the grass next to the boulder, and saw five people dressed as mountain people in the distance carrying the unique backpacks of local mountain people on their shoulders, guns in their hands, and two big dogs walking in front of them. Slowly walked from the valley on the right to the direction of the boulder where they were, and looked back and forth with great vigilance while walking. Seeing all this, Colonel Lee lowered his voice and said to Wan Lin, plain clothes, armed with guns, they must be armed drug dealers. When they get close to 20 meters away from us, you ask Xia Hua to deal with the two dogs, and you rush out with me. Try not to hurt people, just disarm them. Okay, Wan Lin replied softly, then called out to Xiao Hua who was lying on the boulder, raised two fingers, and said softly, Dog, bite. After Xia Hua listened to Wan Lin's order, she lowered her body, curled her whole body, her eyes narrowed into slits, and only a faint blue light could be seen. In the blink of an eye, the five of them had approached the boulder where Wan Lin and the others were. They saw two big calves approaching the boulder, as if they smelled a horrible smell, suddenly stopped, and shrank back in fear. The person holding the gun noticed the abnormality of the dog, and also raised the gun and looked around. Go! Following Wan Lin's command, Xiao Hua's eyes suddenly burst into blue light, and Wan Lin was the first to fly off the boulder, only to see Xiao Hua dodge twice between the two big dogs. Silently fell to the ground. Wan Lin, who had saved at the same time as Xia Hua, had already jumped between the two gunmen at the end of the team, one of them jumped up, one foot and the other cut and kicked them on their necks, and at the same time, the other hand threw out a, a gravel hit the back of the head of the man walking in the middle, and the three fell to the ground almost at the same time. At the same time, Colonel Lee had put a gun against the head of one of the gangsters, while the other gangster had a blue-eyed flower lying on his shoulders 
his open teeth tightly gripping the gangster's neck. In an instant, the battle was over. The three people who were knocked unconscious by Wan Lin were lying on the ground. The two big dogs were spitting blood from their necks. The other two people stood there and didn't dare to move, especially the gangster who was caught by Zia Hua's neck. Grey and white, he didn't dare to move at all, for fear that Zia Hua would bite down. Wan Lin, put their guns aside and see what's in their backpacks. Okay, Wan Lin quickly threw their guns aside and ordered Xiao Hua to watch them. Zia Hua heard the order, and one jumped away from the bandit who was biting his neck, staring at the two bandits with their hands raised and the three still unconscious on the ground with blue eyes. Uncle, what is this? There are more than a dozen packs. Wan Lin asked, holding a boxy piece of oil paper found in the back basket. Colonel Lee took it from Wan Lin and tore the oil paper. I picked a little and smelled this is a high-grade drug. Colonel Lee looked at the drug dealers who were being watched by Xia Hua and said, Good skill, thanks to you and our King of Beasts today, otherwise I really can't deal with them by myself. They made contact and asked them to send local armed police to respond. Early the next morning, Wang Taicheng, the captain of the armed police brigade of Wai province, who received information about the troops, heard that the captain of the special brigade of the military region of K province personally led the team to clean up a group of armed trafficking gangs, and quickly led the team to the mountains. The five gangsters and the two dead wolf dogs watched by a tabby cat all looked at Colonel Lee in surprise when Yu Yu was reading www.yuyugonshu.com and there were only Colonel Lee and a child in Mu Na at the scene. Captain Lee looked at Captain Wang and said with a smile, Don't look at me. The four gangsters and the two wolf dogs here are all uniformed by my little brother. I only cleaned up one. At this time, Wan Lin just touched Xiao Hua who was lying on her shoulders, and smiled shyly. Don't believe it, even the specially trained players, four or five of you are not his opponents. After finishing speaking, he turned to Wang Taicheng and said, I have something I want to ask you, this is the deputy captain of our special operations team. Son, his father died in the battle, and I specially picked him up to join the army. His grandfather is still in the mountains, you are close. I hope you have time to help me take care of it. When Wang Taicheng heard that he was a descendant of a hero, he quickly walked to Xiao Wanlin's side, took Wanlin's hand and said, Don't worry, the hero's father is our father, and we will take good care of it. You must call me when you come back. I will pick you up in person. I want my team members to learn from you and see your Kung Fu well. After the handover, they took the armed police's mountain bike to the outside of the mountain, declined the invitation of the armed police brigade, and drove the military jeep parked at the foot of the mountain by Captain Lee directly to the training base of the Special Brigade of the K-Military Region, which is more than 1,200 kilometers away. Because of the license plate directly under the military region, Captain Lee drove the car very fast and it took less than seven hours to reach the base on a road of more than 1,000 kilometers. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. The K-Military Special Brigade training base is in a mountain more than 300 kilometers away from the provincial capital. When the dusty jeep drove 500 meters from the base, the gate of the base suddenly opened, and a soldier with the rank of Major General stood on his shoulders standing at the door, and behind him stood more than thirty soldiers in line. Li Dongsheng braked abruptly, turned his head and said to Wan Lin, that's Major General Gao Li, the head of the operations department of the military region. You are optimistic about Xia Hua, don't hurt anyone. Get out of the car. Wan Lin patted Xiao Hua and followed Li Brigade, jumped out of the car and ran to the Major General. Li Dongsheng saluted, report to Minister Gao, the special team Li Dongsheng has successfully completed the task, and I bring Wan Lin to report to you. Minister Gao waved his hand and said cheerfully, OK, Wan Lin is here, beckoning to Wan Lin come by. Xia Hua back. Wan Lin instructed Xia Hua, and hurried to the front of Minister Gao. Minister Gao patted Wan Lin on the shoulder, looked at Wan Lin carefully, 
tears flashed in his eyes, good boy, when I see you, I think of your father. Work hard, don't embarrass your father. I heard that you broke the ground on the way here. There was a major drug trafficking case, and the Public Security Department of Y Province and the Armed Police Brigade respectively called and asked for credit for you. Minister Gao paused for a while, then turned to Li Dongsheng and said, Wan Ming has a successor, and so does our special team. Let's go and rest at the base. I'll catch up with you later. After that, he pulled Wan Lin and walked to the base. Li Dongsheng waved all disbanded to the special forces team members who lined up to greet them, and then followed Minister Gao and Wan Lin to the base with Xia Hua. After the disbandment, several team members saw a tabby cat following Wan Lin with its head held high. A low cry sounded, and at the same time a blue light shot out of Xia Hua's eyes, she shrank back, and she was about to burst out. Stop! Wan Lin, who heard the cry, hurried over. Several team members who came around were startled, why is this cat so powerful? Stay away from it, no one can approach it without Wan Lin's permission. Li Dongsheng quickly instructed the team members, and at the same time rushed to Minister Gao's side to introduce Xia Hua's magic in a low voice. After listening to Li Brigade's introduction, Minister Gao showed a look of joy in his eyes, OK, you are fully responsible for the training of Wan Lin and Xia Hua and you need to report directly to me. In the evening, Minister Gao summoned a squadron leader and above in the restaurant to take care of Wan Lin. These personnel are all seniors of the special forces. They and Wan Lin's father are brothers born and die together. They have long heard that Wan Lin, the son of an old comrade in arms, is coming, and this time, Minister Gao of the Military Region Operations Department personally went to the base to greet Wan Lin. They are all happy for the old comrades. During the banquet, Li Dongsheng introduced Wan Lin's life experience and detailed the process of subduing armed drug traffickers. While praising it's really a tiger's father without a dog's son, everyone served Wan Lin with vegetables one after another, causing Wan Lin to be very cautious during the banquet. When everyone heard that Xia Hua killed the two big wolf dogs in an instant, everyone's eyes turned to squatting on Wan Lin's lap with both paws on Xia Hua on the dining table. I saw Xia Hua stretched out her round head, carefully looking around at everyone present. The captain of the first squadron, Kidong, liked this unknown little animal very much. He stretched out his hand and took a piece of meat and walked to Xia Hua. Xia Hua smelled the meat in front of her and turned her head to the side proudly. Wan Lin hurriedly said, Xia Hua never eats anything given by others. And he doesn't eat cooked food, only living things that I caught and that he beat himself. After dinner, Minister Gao instructed Li Dongsheng, Dongsheng, you must take good care of Wan Lin. If you have any requirements in life, please tell me directly. In addition, you can discuss Xia Hua's diet with Wan Lin to see how to solve it. Tomorrow, you will go to the military region for Wan Lin. Go through all the special recruitment procedures and directly incorporate Wan Lin into the newly formed No. 3 Squadron for training. After speaking, he rushed back to the military area by helicopter overnight. Early the next morning, Li Dongsheng took the introduction letter from the Special Brigade and Wan Lin to the military hospital for a physical examination. After the physical examination, Li Dongsheng took the physical examination form and stamped it. An old military doctor in charge of the stamp looked at the physical examination form and said, he is 1.68 meters tall, weighs 64 kilograms, has a heartbeat of 54 beats per minute, vision 3.0, and a lung capacity of 15000 ml. The important physical examination indicators of this child have reached the limit of human beings, where did you find such a little superman? After the physical examination, they rushed to the recruitment office of the military region. Li Dongsheng asked Wan Lin to put Xia Hua in the car, and after locking the door, he took Wan Lin directly into the recruitment office to go through the relevant procedures. There is an unwritten rule within the military region that all military departments must go through relevant procedures unconditionally for those soldiers who are specially recruited by the Special Brigade's letter of introduction. 
This is because when Wan Lin's father was specially recruited into the army more than ten years ago, because he did not go through the formal recruitment procedures, he had a conflict with the recruiting office and encountered a lot of trouble. In the end, General Zhong Hanrui, then the head of operations of the military region and the current commander of the military region, made this unwritten rule after directly asking his superiors for instructions. It is precisely because of this stipulation that the children of high-ranking officials in the recruiting office are very angry, the recruiting office does not have such rights, and your special team not only treats them superior to others, but also has privileges for recruiting soldiers. Since then, there has been a long run of grievances between the two departments. Since the recruiting department is a department that has a direct connection with the locality, it directly holds the power to recruit and distribute recruits. It can be described as a department with rich geomantic feng shui in the military region, so the personnel composition is basically the commander of the military region or the directly affiliated troops and the children of some local high-ranking officials. These high-ranking sons and daughters, who are usually all-powerful, suffered a dumb loss on the issue of Wan Ming's special recruitment, and naturally had a grudge in their hearts. Fortunately, there is little interaction between the two departments. The members of the special brigade are basically selected directly from various units, and go through the formalities directly with the organization department of the military region, however, apart from the special recruitment of Wan Lin's father, there has never been a similar special recruitment situation, so the two departments have been in peace for more than ten years. When Lieutenant Zheng Chong in the recruiting department took over the resume filled out by Wan Lin, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com found that the age was only 15 years old, and the column of educational background was blank, and he directly said to Lee Brigade, it does not meet the requirements. It is stipulated that the minimum age for recruiting in the army is 16 years old, and he is still illiterate, which does not meet the regulations. After speaking, he threw the resume to Li Dongsheng. When Li Dongsheng heard this, his face was flushed, and he pointed to the resume and said, Who is illiterate, he can write such good words. Didn't you see that it was a special recruit of the special team? At this time, several other clerks who were also at the recruiting office also heard the sound and surrounded him. Seeing someone surrounding him, Zheng Chong's tone became even tougher, special recruits can't work either they don't meet the rules, and no one can recruit them. What's so great about the special team? It is said that ten years ago, you specially recruited an old peasant surnamed Wan from this big mountain, and now it's time to bring in a small peasant surnamed Wan. His words were full of contempt. Hearing that the lieutenant had insulted his father, Wan Lin, who was standing behind the captain, stepped directly to the table. Suddenly, his slightly confused eyes flashed, and he asked Zheng Chong coldly, Who is the old farmer? The short rural child said this to him, Zheng Chong stood up from behind the desk, pointed at Wan Lin's nose and shouted, You are the old farmer, the old farmer died somewhere, you small farmer came here to make trouble. What a mess! Before he could finish speaking, Wan Lin's hand was already on Zheng Chong's wrist and then he saw a huge body flying up from behind the table, directly breaking through the window opposite the table and flying out of the window, accompanied by a click sound of a fracture. And the sound of glass breaking and breaking through window frames. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. Hearing the sound, Colonel Lee Mingli, the director of the recruitment division, who ran out of the office of the director of the army, was furious when he saw Zheng Chong passing out between the window frame and the broken glass while holding his right arm in his left hand. He glared at Li Dongsheng and Wan Lin, who were walking out of the house, and yelled at the other staff at the recruiting station surrounding him, You are stupid, you smashed your home and stood there, arrest them. Stand up. Following his voice, Six or seven lieutenants with different ranks had surrounded Li Dongsheng and Wan Lin. They saw that Li Dongsheng had the rank of colonel on his shoulders and did not dare to move him, so they reached out and grabbed Wan Lin. Colonel Li frowned, glanced coldly at the few lieutenants surrounding him, 
raised his feet and took two steps back. Seeing Li Brigade retreating, Wan Lin's body swayed like lightning in the crowd who had come up. With a few clicks, the few people who had just grabbed Wan Lin aggressively almost at the same time hugged their legs and fell to the ground. On the ground. After Wan Lin defeated a few lieutenants, he didn't stop, and he flashed directly behind Colonel Li Ming Li at the recruiting office. With a slap with his left hand, Li Ming Li's 180POUND body sat on the ground with his buttocks bent. Wan Lin's right hand was bent. The knuckles of the middle phalanx were firmly pressed against the back of his head. Several military police patrolling in the military compound came over after hearing the news, just when they saw the scene in front of them, several military police immediately took out their pistols and aimed at Wan Lin in front. At this moment, only a loud bang was heard. It was parked at the window of the Lee Brigade Jeep in the parking lot 200 meters away. A white shadow rushed out from the broken window. It was like a flash of lightning in the air. In a blink of an eye, the cat jumped onto Colonel Li Ming Li's shoulder, and its sharp right paw pressed firmly against the colonel's neck artery. Its blue eyes stared straight at the eyes of the military police who had raised their guns, without making a sound. It turned out that Xiaohua heard the loud noise outside, saw several soldiers surrounding the master, and felt that the master was in danger. Her two sharp front claws were scratching on the seat in the car, but she couldn't find her way out. When he saw the master make a move, he smashed the window glass and rushed towards Colonel Li Ming Li, who was still standing. Seeing this little flower running out, Li Dongsheng was really afraid that it might hurt Minister Li, so he hurriedly shouted to Wan Lin, Don't hurt anyone. The surrounding military police were overwhelmed by the scene but just stared blankly at Wan Lin and Li Brigade with their guns in their hands, and no one dared to act rashly. They knew that the sharp claw on the recruiter's neck could tear his arteries at any moment if he moved rashly. Get out of the way, Colonel Yang Ming Zhong, the head of the military security regiment, who came after hearing the news, pushed away the crowd of onlookers. When he saw that it was Captain Li of the special forces who was surrounded, he thought to himself, who are you recruiting for these ignorant people at the recruiting office? Not good? I'm not recruiting this gang of murderers who don't blink. He waved the gendarmerie to put down the gun, and said to Colonel Lee, Brigade Lee, let Director Lee go first, there is something to solve. Lee Brigade saw the military police put down the gun, and then turned to Wan Lin and said, let go of him. Wan Lin immediately released the right hand that was on the back of Director Li's head, and then took a half step back. Xiao Hua's eyes were blue. In a flash, he got up and jumped to Wan Lin's shoulder, staring at the person in front of him with blue light flickering. Director Li, who was let go, turned pale at this time, his legs were trembling, and he couldn't get up even after standing a few times. It was Wan Lin who reached out from behind and put his arm under his arm, and lifted him up. Director Li stood firm and turned his pale face to stare at Brigade Li viciously, then turned to Wan Lin, little rabbit. Before he finished speaking, he saw Xiao Hua with blue eyes dying. Staring at him, he was so frightened that he quickly retreated to Captain Yang's side. The matter immediately caused a sensation in the military compound. Everyone knew that a child who was specially recruited by the special forces took care of the people in the recruiting office who were usually big and arrogant because of his connections, and were secretly happy. At the same time, they were also secretly worried that Colonel Li Ming Li was the son of Deputy Political Commissar Li Zhongming of the military region, and Zheng Chong was the nephew of Zheng Gong, Deputy Chief of Staff of the military region. But offended a group of young men with military and local backgrounds. At this time, the head of the guard regiment Yang looked around, walked to Li Dongsheng and whispered a few words, and then accompanied Li Dongsheng and Wan Lin directly to the office of Major General Gao Li of the War Department of the Military Region. Li Brigade directly reported the incident to Minister Gao. When Minister Gao heard that they had insulted Wan Lin's father Wan Ming, he stood up from the office chair with a stern look in his eyes, it's a good fight. Well it's still not the turn of these trash commenting heroes who died for our country. Go back, I'll take care of the rest. 
After that, he waved them back to the base to stand by. After sending the two away, Minister Gao took Head Yang directly to the office of General Zhong Hanrui, commander of the military region, and reported in detail what happened. On their way back, Li Dongsheng and Wan Lin looked around at the messy car seats and broken windows that had been torn apart by Xia Hua. They smiled wryly at Wan Lin and said, You two little ancestors, you can really cause trouble for me. Looking at Xia Hua, she shouted in surprise, Xia Hua is really a copper head and an iron bone. It smashed such a thick window glass, but it is still intact. The incident caused a shock in the military compound. The next morning, the K-military region held a military region-level meeting under the auspices of the political commissar of the military region, General Wang Shulin, to discuss the handling of the incident. At the meeting, political commissar Wang informed the incident and asked all members to express their opinions on how to deal with it. The first person to speak was Zheng Gong, deputy chief of staff of the military region, the impact of this incident is extremely bad. Wan Lin injured eight active duty soldiers while still a commoner, one of whom had a fractured right wrist and two sternums, and the remaining seven all of them have fractured calf and leg bones. At the same time, the director of the recruitment department was held hostage in a situation where his life was threatened. Such people are the trash of society. How can such scum enter the army? I strongly recommend that they be sent to the local public security organs. Justice. Li Dongsheng, as the leader of the special brigade, condoned the murder and wounding of his subordinates. Such people are not worthy of serving in the army. I suggest that they be handed over to a military court for trial. Li Zhongming, deputy political commissar, continued, I agree with deputy chief of staff Zheng's opinion that a civilian in Wanlin deliberately hurt active soldiers in the army has caused extremely bad influence. Li Dongsheng not only did not stop this incident, but condoned it. His men committed murder and suggested that he take off his military uniform and drive out of the army, the army cannot tolerate such a black sheep. Hearing the words, Gao Li stood up and said coldly, this incident was directly caused by the recruiting office. The military region has long stated that the special team has the right to directly recruit soldiers, and all departments must not interfere. In this incident during the recruitment process, some personnel in the recruitment office not only made things difficult for no reason, but also directly insulted Lt. Col. Wan Ming, the former deputy commander of the Special Operations Brigade who had died for the country. The son of the Lt. Col. Minister Gao paused for a while, and his tone gradually rose. On the way to recruit Wan Lin's troops this time, Li Dongsheng and Wan Lin broke up an armed drug gang and Wan Lin alone subdued four people with guns. The drug traffickers underarmed seized more than 50 kilograms of drugs. The Provincial Public Security Department and the Provincial Armed Police Brigade respectively called and strongly demanded that they be given credit. I would like to ask everyone, such people cannot join the army, who can join the army? Crack, the commander of the military region, General Zhong Hanrui, who had always been dark and sullen, slammed the table and stood up, and said sharply, I gave the special team the right to special recruits, and this happened ten years ago. The conclusion, who has an opinion, go to the top and say it. Now is a time of peace, but our special forces are fighting with real swords and guns, and have fought countless life and death struggles with criminal gangs that destroy stability and foreign hostile forces. They are peaceful the warriors who defended the peace and dignity of the Republic with their lives. UU reading www.uuganchu.com Commander Zhong's tone became more and more intense, for a long time, some people think that the treatment of the Special Forces Brigade is high, is it high? I say it is low, because they are serving as soldiers with blood and life. In this incident Wan Ming the former deputy commander of the Special Operations Brigade who was insulted in 2008, was a civilian who was specially recruited into the army. In his more than 10 years of military career, he participated in countless battles, killed more than 200 enemies before and after, and was awarded special merit once. First class merit twice, countless second and third class merits, until sacrifice, 
he is a lieutenant colonel. But these people who insult heroes have been in the army for a few years. Look at their rank, what qualifications do they have to make irresponsible remarks here? If I were at the scene, I would dare to kill them. This time is to teach them a lesson. This is the end of the matter. If a similar incident occurs, I will handle it strictly regardless of his background. In addition, Wan Lin's military age has been counted since yesterday, and the local government asks for credit for them, I suggest, give Wan Lin third-class merit, Li Dongsheng has leadership responsibility in this incident, no punishment or reward. After speaking, he pushed away the chair behind him with a crash, turned around and walked out of the conference room with a sullen face. Afterwards, political commissar Wang, Minister Gao and others also left the conference room one after another, leaving only Deputy Chief of Staff Zheng and Deputy Political Commissar Li who looked at each other. This special recruitment storm has aroused huge repercussions in the military region. People are secretly rejoicing that the Special Forces team passed the customs without incident. At the same time, the small mountain people fought bravely at the recruiting office and subdued the eight sons with their bare hands has also become a joke in the military region after a meal. Wan Lin became a member of the K military region on the first day of joining the army. Man of the Year The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. After completing the enlistment procedures, Wan Lin was directly assigned to the 3rd Squadron of the newly formed Special Forces Brigade. Li Brigade called the leader of the 3rd Squadron, Major Wei Chao, to the brigade headquarters and instructed, Wan Lin directly enters the second squad of your squadron. He has no experience in the army, so you should start from scratch. You can't take care of it in training, Wan Ming's son doesn't need to be taken care of. He will not embarrass his father. After explaining, let Wei Tao directly take Wan Lin to get the equipment and report to the dormitory. Seeing the squadron leader come to the dormitory, the squad leader, Captain Wang Hong, shouted salute, and the ten team members who were packing their luggage in the room stood at attention and saluted. After returning the salute, Squadron Wei said to Wang Hong, this is the last member of our squadron to report, called Wan Linier. Then he took Wan Lin to Wang Hong's side, he enlisted directly from the locality and has no military experience. Teach him from scratch, yes Wang Hong replied. After Wei Chao explained, he walked out of the dormitory directly. The members of the newly formed 3rd Squadron are all the top players selected from various competitions of the field troops affiliated to the military region in accordance with the practice, and each of them has more than three years of military experience. After seeing Wan Lin put on his military uniform, Wang Hong called the team members together for a team meeting. The 12 players sit in a circle on the pony. Wang Hong said, this is the first time for everyone to meet today, and each of them will introduce their own situation. The first person to stand up was a burly man about 1.9 meters tall. He said in a loud voice, My name is Wang Dali, a soldier. The former soldier of the 1st Battalion, 1st Battalion, 1st Battalion, 2nd Regiment, 3rd Division of the L Army. He is good at fighting and shooting, and his favorite firearm is the machine gun. That's a lot of fun. His words attracted a burst of laughter. Followed by a calm-faced, well-proportioned second lieutenant about 1.75 meters, my name is Chin Gru. Twenty-one years old, the platoon leader of the 3rd Battalion of the Military Guard Regiment. He is from Henan. His specialty is fighting and shooting said sit down quietly. The people in front had all finished their introductions, and only a baby-faced soldier and Wan Lin were left. I saw the senior soldier stood up and said with a strong Henan accent, My name is Zhang Wa, 19 years old. He is a native of Henan. He was born less than 3 pounds, which is too small, so my grandfather said it was called Zhang Wa, I guess he will not grow up. Accompanied by everyone's laughter, he looked at Wan Lin and said, I don't have any specialties. I liked playing with firecrackers when I was a child. After joining the army, I was in the engineer company and I liked blasting. I'm young enough, 
why is there a child with a cat? After pointing to Ziahua next to Wan Lin, Ao Ziahua raised her head and roared as she looked up at him, My mother, so frightened Zhang Wa sat down. It caused everyone to burst into laughter. Wan Lin, talk to you too, Wang Hong said to Wan Lin with a smile. Wan Lin stood up shyly, I don't have any specialties, I'm just a hunter in the mountains. At the same time, he pointed to his military uniform, I don't know what military rank it is. Today is my second day as a soldier. After speaking, he quickly sat down. Everyone looked at Wan Lin and was amazed in their hearts, I had never heard of anyone who went directly to the special forces as soon as they enlisted in the army, but they were chosen by thousands of people. Wang Hong smiled and said to Wan Lin, You are now a private soldier. Zhang Wa is responsible for teaching Wan Lin's military posture and taking care of his daily life. In addition, I heard that your little flower is very good, you should bring him to meet his comrades. Wan Lin quickly stood up, smell said and walked around the team with Xia Hua. The entire squad consisted of 12 people, including one lieutenant, two second lieutenants, five sergeants and three first class soldiers. Only Wan Lin was a private soldier. That night, Zhang Wa took Wan Lin outside to teach him a series of common sense in the military, such as standing at attention, resting, and salute. Perhaps because the two were of the same age, the two quickly became good friends. At 3 a.m. the next morning, a rushing whistle sounded outside. Emergency assembly Zhang Wa quickly pulled Wan Lin up and helped the chaotic Wan Lin get dressed and equipped. When they ran out of the dormitory, more than 30 teammates from the 3rd Squadron were already waiting in line for them. Captain Li Dongsheng stood in front of the team with a stopwatch in his hand, frowning tightly. Stand at attention, look to the right, and look forward Lieutenant Colonel Wei Chao, the captain of the 3rd Squadron, shouted loudly. Then he ran to the front of the team, raised his hand and saluted, report to the captain, the third squadron should have 36 people, and there are 36 people. Please instruct. After finishing speaking, he ran back to the queue. Lee Brigade looked at the stopwatch, 26 seconds, an emergency assembly actually took 26 seconds. It is said that you are still the top of the original army, and then glanced at the team members with cold eyes, remove all your military ranks. From today onwards, you are all privates here. I don't care about your original record, you will be training for three months, and if you fail the subject test, you will go back to the original unit. Start the first stage of physical training today. 50 kilometers heavy duty off-road. Yes Wei Chao, the captain of the squadron, shouted and led the team to the mountains outside the base. With the help of Starlight, a group of more than 30 people each carried more than 20 kilograms of equipment and ran on the path in the mountains. Wan Lin and Zhang Wa ran at the back of the line. Zhang Wa said to Wan Lin as she ran, Tell me when you're tired of running, and I'll get you a gun. Wan Lin smiled slightly and continued to run forward. For the first 30 kilometers, everyone could form a phalanx. While running, I heard someone in the team complaining, how come there are such two stupid kids, the emergency gathering is so slow, and everyone gets scolded. To Wang Dali's loud voice with a strong Shandong accent, you are not from recruits, my brother enlisted the next day, 26 seconds is more, one sentence suppressed all kinds of complaints. Wan Lin, who was originally embarrassed to hear the complaints, glanced at Shandong Dahan with grateful eyes. After running 30 kilometers, the team gradually widened the distance, and Lily Lala opened a distance of two or three kilometers. Wang, the big man who was running at the front, put the gun vigorously on his neck, gradually pulled it to the back, and panted to Wan Lin and Zhang Hua's side, Baby, I'm just afraid of cross-country running, I can lift it on the flat ground. A cow, but this run is really killing me. Zhang Wa wiped the sweat from her face and said with a smile, when you rushed out, you were like a tank. Now you can't do it. Look at Wan Lin, it's okay. Wang Dali glanced at Wan Lin, who was following leisurely beside him, no, 
this kid didn't even sweat. Seeing Wang Dali running hard, Wan Lin reached out and grabbed Wang Dali's gun. I, I've been living in the mountains, what kind of road is this? He said to Ziahua who was following his feet, go, find something to eat by yourself. After hearing the master's order, Ziahua disappeared in a blink of an eye. My mother, how can this thing be so fast? Wang Dali gasped. Several hours passed between the conversations, and the destination was only five or six kilometers away. Wan Lin and Zhang W.A. drag Wang Dali forward. I saw that running at the front of the team was the relaxed-looking Chen Gru from their team and five or six other team members. Wan Lin asked Zhang W.A. and Wang Dali softly, Is it all right? Zhang W.A. replied, It's fine, you can go up. Before he finished speaking, Wan Lin saw a few ups and downs, surpassing the dozen or so players in front, and came to the phalanx that was running at the front. Seeing that Xiao Wan Lin came to his side with a large equipment bag and two guns hanging on his back, Cheng Ryu, who was running at the front, and the rest of the team members quickened their pace as if they had been given a tonic, especially Cheng Ryu. Glanced at Wan Lin next to him like a rivalry, the frequency of his legs swinging suddenly increased. In a blink of an eye, he threw off the few players who were still following him just now and rushed forward. In the blink of an eye, Yu Yu read www. Yu Yu Ganshu. Com Chengru was only 500 meters away from the finish line. As the sun gradually rose, he could already see the captain and several instructors standing at the finish line with timers in hand. But no matter how fast Cheng Ryu speeded up, he felt that Wan Lin was following him like a shadow. Cheng Ryu ran and wondered, why is this kid so fast, he doesn't make a sound when he runs. When he crossed the finish line like a Confucianism, Wan Lin still followed closely behind him. At this point, the fastest people behind them were at least six or seven hundred meters away. Cheng Ryu ran across the finish line, sat on the ground panting heavily, wiped his sweat and looked up at Wan Lin, only to see that he was still relaxed, there was not a single drop of sweat on his forehead, but his face was a little red. How did this kid practice? I'm the number one heavy-duty off-roader in the military region. I can't shake him off even if I try to suckle, and he doesn't even show off his air, Cheng Ryu pondered. Seeing Wan Lin easily followed Cheng Ryu across the finish line with two guns on his shoulders, Captain Li nodded secretly. A group of tired teammates returned to the dormitory, Wang Dali was lying on the bed, my mother, if it wasn't for Xiao Wan Lin today, I would have to be at the bottom. Wan Lin hurried over to help Wang Dali remove his equipment. Big brother, I don't understand anything, and I will rely on you brothers to help me in the future. After speaking, he walked out of the dormitory. Cheng Ryu looked at Wan Lin's back and let out a hum. Today, he has been a multiple all-around champion in the military region for several consecutive years, and he was almost overtaken by this wild boy in the mountains. He felt very uncomfortable. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. Wan Lin came to the outside of the dormitory, looked at the mountains outside the base and gave a whistle. With the whistle, a black shadow crossed the five-meter-high fence of the base, and several undulations jumped onto Wan Lin's shoulders. I'm full, no trouble. Just as he was talking, he saw a military jeep at the gate of the base speeding towards the gate. A lieutenant colonel said a few words to the guard. The guard turned to the guard booth and made a phone call. Entered the base and stopped in front of the brigade department. I saw Lieutenant Lee and several instructors hurried out to meet a lieutenant colonel and a lieutenant who were getting out of the car. That's it the lieutenant who was getting out of the car first saw Wan Lin and Xiao Hua standing in front of the dormitory. Li Brigade quickly beckoned Wan Lin to bring Xiao Hua over. It turned out that on the way back from eating in the mountains, Xia Hua passed by the military dog training base more than 10 kilometers away from the special brigade of the military region, jumped in for a walk, was seen by several military dogs patrolling the courtyard, and they all roared around. Come up! However, the soldiers at the military dog base who did not wait for the sound to arrive at the base understood what was going on 
and saw Ziyah Hua growl, followed by a lightning-like shadow jumping to the nearest German purebred roe, who was more than 60 centimeters tall. On the dog, with a wave of its small paw, the extremely ferocious military dog slumped to the ground, followed by a blue light shot at the following military dogs. The military dogs heard the low growl and the blue light in the eyes of this little thing. Afterwards, they stepped back. If Xiaohua hadn't seen the people who arrived later, wearing the same military uniforms as Wan Lin and the others, I really don't know if it would hurt anyone. At this moment, Xiaohua heard Wan Lin's whistle and left the base like lightning. The jeep just now was chased by the deputy captain and the lieutenant on duty of the military dog training base in the direction where Xiaohua disappeared. After listening to their narration, Lieutenant Colonel Li quickly pointed to Wan Lin and Xiaohua and said to Lieutenant Colonel Wang, I'm sorry, we just recruited them. They are not familiar with the surrounding situation. How are the military dogs? Lieutenant Colonel Wang gave Xiaohua a stern look, it's probably obsolete, a purebred Rottweiler imported from Germany. Then he turned to look at the captain and said, You don't know, this Rottweiler is a recent Rottweiler. It cost tens of thousands of dollars to introduce, this kind of dog is extremely ferocious. He even dared to go up to bite a black bear weighing a few hundred pounds. Who would have thought that he would be subdued by this little thing in a single encounter, and he didn't know if he was injured. It will be difficult to explain to the military region, then you have to draft a report with us to explain what happened to the military region, otherwise we will not be able to explain. Lee Brigade quickly responded, Yes, yes, I'm carrying some punishment. At the same time, he turned around and ordered Wan Lin, Wan Lin, take Xiao Hua to apologize to the military dog training base. Wan Lin quickly gave a military salute and said embarrassedly, It's all my fault, I'm sorry, sorry and then patted Xiao Hua's butt. Apologize. I saw Xiao Hua lowered her eyes raised her two front paws and tapped up and down a few times, and at the same time her big tail was wagging upwards. A few people around were happy. Lieutenant Yao from the military dog training base looked at Xiao Hua and couldn't help laughing, what is this, it's so powerful. Could you lend me a few days and bring it back to help me train the military dog? Li Brigade quickly said, it's called Xiao Hua, who is it? He couldn't take it with him. He only listened to Wan Lin's command. He turned around and said to the lieutenant colonel, Deputy Captain Wang, I was going to go to your place in the past two days. I would like a copy of your military dog training syllabus, and let Wan Lin train Xia Hua as a reference. It's no problem, I'll go back. Just ask someone to deliver it, Lieutenant Colonel Wang replied happily. Fortunately, at the military dog base, Xiaohua saw that the people there were wearing the same uniforms as Li Brigade, as if she knew that they were comrades in arms, so she did not hurt the military dog, but only intimidated it, and did not cause substantial damage to the military dog. But this incident gave Li Brigade and Wan Lin a wake-up call. They really need to train Xiaohua well, and don't let him go out casually, so as not to accidentally hurt the people and animals around. That afternoon, the Lee Brigade ordered a squadron to send more than a dozen people to the mountains, where they caught more than a dozen yellow sheep and hares and raised them for the consumption of small flowers. After several days of physical training, Wan Lin, who had not received any military training, passed various physical fitness tests effortlessly, which made the squadron leader stunned. On this day, Lee Brigade and several brigade instructors called Wei Chao, the captain of the No. 3 Squadron, to the brigade headquarters to inquire about Wan Lin's training in detail. Wei Chao said, I really can't tell, this kid's physique is unexpected. In terms of stamina, Cheng Ryu is the best performer in our squadron, but Wan Lin's performance always bites him tightly. At the same time, we can all see that Wan Lin did not exert his full strength at all. After training every day, the other team members were so tired that they lay motionless on the bed. Only Wan Lin sat cross-legged on the bed with his hands folded on his stomach. What kind of exercises, in less than ten minutes, I went outside with a gun and fiddled with it. After listening to Wei Chao's words, 
Li Dongsheng said to several instructors around him, I have seen Wan Lin's physical fitness and martial arts skills. The first few days for him to participate in physical training is to familiarize him with the life of the army and his teammates. Hong Tao, a physical fitness and martial arts instructor, took over, I deliberately observed Wan Lin's breathing during their training. The normal breathing rate of normal people is 16 to 20 times per minute, and our specially trained people are about 12 to 16 times per minute. Asphyxiation occurs every minute, and people under any circumstance are less than 10 times, and Wanlin's breathing rate is only 8 times after such a large amount of exercise in the last 50 kilometers of cross country. This shows that Wanlin has extreme strong physical fitness and survivability under hypoxia. As for fighting ability, I don't know much about it. Wei Chao, you called Wan Lin to the training hall, and you can test Wan Lin's fighting ability. Li Brigade instructed the captain of the 3rd Squadron. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com When Wan Lin and the captain of the 3rd Squadron ran to the training hall, they saw Li Brigade and a few instructors sitting on the chairs around the hall, with only instructor Hong Tao standing in the middle of the hall. Instructor Hong had already taken off the camouflage uniform on his upper body, and his concave and protruding muscles held the half-sleeved vest on his upper body tightly, and his body over 1.8 meters stood there like a mountain. Li Brigade instructed Wan Lin, you have had a fight with Instructor Hong, and you'll have to stop. Yes Wan Lin walked to Instructor Hong with a single step. Before he could stand still, Instructor Hong flicked his left hand in front of Wan Lin's eyes, and his right foot kicked his chest like lightning. Wan Lin raised his left arm and blocked the flying foot with a pop. He turned around and tapped the right wrist of the oncoming instructor with his right hand. He was short and turned behind instructor Hong. Before the instructor could react, his right hand was already on the waist of instructor Hong. It is as smooth and fast as running clouds and flowing water. Stop! Li Brigade called out and then said to Wan Lin, go back first. Watching Wan Lin walk out of the training hall, Instructor Hong sat on the ground and stroked his calf with his right hand, why is this boy's bones so hard, his body is like the wind, it's too fast. This boy can also point acupuncture points, click my right wrist, it's numb now. Li Brigade looked at him and smiled and said, you have seen Lao Lin's skills, this kid is faster than his Lao Tzu. After he finished speaking, he looked at a few dumbfounded instructors and said, Instructor Wu, from today onwards, you will be in charge of the use of Wangxing devices and the driving training of various vehicles for a month. Let Wanlin take Xiaohua and let him be familiar with the sound of guns. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. Early the next morning, Wanlin, who was notified, ran to the instructor's dormitory with a 03 STYLE rifle and Xia Hua, and saluted Sergeant Wu Hanyu, the shooting instructor who was waiting for him, report, recruit Wan Lin was ordered to report. Instructor Wu waved his hand and led him towards the base's arsenal. As he walked, he asked, have you ever shot a gun, report to the instructor, I have never seen a gun before, Wan Lin replied. Hearing the answer, Instructor Wu frowned and said to himself, Bai Ding, how can I teach this in a month? Entering the arsenal, Wan Lin's eyes lit up. There are different types of rifles, machine guns, guns, etc. While walking, Instructor Wu introduced, this is a domestically produced Type 95 sniper rifle with an effective range of 800 meters and a distance of 1000 meters that can penetrate 3 MMA 3 steel plates. At present, there is no large-scale installation in China, this is a Type 03 automatic rifle, this is Type 95. Squad with machine guns. Saying that, he walked to a pile of firearms marked foreign equipment, this is a Russian-made AK series rifle, the SRX M110 sniper rifle developed by Knight Company of the United States has an effective range of 1,000 meters, this is a 20mm sniper rifle made in South Africa. Anti-material sniper rifle, this sniper rifle can use 20mm and 14.5mm barrels. In terms of its caliber, 
If this anti-material sniper rifle uses special bullets, it can be used within a distance of 1 km, penetrates 100 mm homogeneous steel armor, it is a heavy weapon, this is an American M134 revolving machine gun known as Vulcan, this heavy machine gun has a caliber of 7.62 mm and a rate of fire of up to 6,000 rounds per minute. Then he walked to the ammunition depot and pointed to a pile of neatly stacked boxes, this is the 03 STYLE rifle ammunition you are carrying now, take two boxes and follow me. The two came to the shooting range, and instructor Wu asked Wan Lin, are you familiar with the structure of this gun? Familiar, I've been practicing with Zhang Wa every day these few days, Wan Lin said, skillfully taking off the gun, quickly disassembling it and then quickly assembling the gun. Instructor Wu looked at Wan Lin's skilled movements, nodded secretly, then brought the gun over, calibrated the gun, explained and demonstrated the shooting points according to the lying, kneeling and standing positions, and then pointed to the 200 in front of him. Mi Yuan's row of targets said, Your task today is to practice shooting in three poses as I just said. Let's start now. After that, he walked to the side and looked at Wan Lin quietly with the binoculars in his hand. Wan Lin took out a new magazine from the ammo box and loaded it. Then he lay down on the ground and aimed at the target in front of him. After about 20 seconds, he calmly fired his first shot in his life. Hearing the deafening gunshots, Xia Hua's body was shocked, a blue light suddenly appeared in her eyes, she glanced at Wan Lin, and then she quietly lay beside Wan Lin again. Sixty Rings Instructor Wu nodded secretly. Pa pa pa. As the first shot was fired, Wan Lin seemed to have found the feeling, and the firing was getting faster and faster. In a blink of an eye, a magazine was fired. Stop, go get the target paper, Instructor Wu ordered. Li Brigade, who heard the gunshots, came from a distance and saw that Instructor Wu was watching carefully with a target paper in his hand, and also came over. Except for the first shot with 60 rings, the rest are above 80 rings, three of which are 10 rings, Instructor Wu said to Li Brigade. He turned around and asked Wan Lin questioningly, This is your first time shooting? Yes. My grandfather has taught me to practice archery and gravel throwing since I was young. Within 100 meters, I can shoot three birds with three arrows in a row, Wan Lin replied. Okay. Follow the action I just demonstrated, and shoot all the bullets in three positions. Instructor Wu finished his instructions, and took Colonel Lee to the side. This kid is born to be a sniper. When shooting continuously, he has a long breath and holds a gun. Extremely stable, composed, and introverted, there is no movement in his body when he shoots, indicating that he has great physical strength and body control. In more than an hour, a box of bullets was finished. Instructor Wu instructed Wan Lin, retrieve all the target papers and replace them with new ones. Li Brigade and Instructor Wu looked at the retrieved target papers, and the impact points of each target paper were densely surrounded by the bullseye. Okay, keep practicing, don't begrudge the bullets. Li Brigade nodded to Instructor Wu and turned to leave. Half a month later, Wan Lin has fired tens of thousands of bullets, and has also learned to drive various vehicles. This morning, Instructor Wu came to the shooting range with a 9.5 TYP sniper rifle and a box of bullets, and said to Wan Lin who was waiting at the shooting range early, in the past 10 days, you have carried out various domestic and foreign pistols, rifles and machine gun live training. Starting today, sniper training. After speaking, he explained in detail the influence of external factors such as wind speed, wind direction and gravity on long-distance shooting, and then took out a 300 PAG sniper training course and handed it to Wan Lin, pointing to the two targets of 500 meters and 800 meters. Said, look at this book according to the explanation I just explained, and fire with live ammunition in two hours. I saw Wan Lin sitting on the ground, quickly flipping the pages of the book occasionally grabbing a handful of soil and gently scattering it in front of him, with a pensive look on his face from time to time. Report, can I do live ammunition training now? Wan Lin asked. 
Instructor Wu looked at his watch. After less than an hour, he asked him in surprise, Have you read all of it? What does Chapter 5 of the tutorial say? Chapter 5 is wind speed estimation and wind deflection calculation, the sensory estimation method of wind speed is, when the wind speed is lower than 5 km, the body cannot feel the wind speed, and the smoke column rises vertically, when the wind speed is 58 km, the face feels wind, and the smoke column is slightly deflected. But the offset is very small. When the wind speed is 813 km, the face feels strong, the leaves swing in a certain rhythm, and the smoke column is blown away. When the wind speed is greater than 13 km, it is generally not suitable for long distance sniping, you don't forget it, what's the current wind speed? The wind speed is 58 km. Since there is no smoke column, I just grabbed a handful of fine soil and tested it, Juan Linda replied. OK, adjust the wind deflection of the scope according to the wind and start shooting, instructor Wu ordered. Puff puff, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. The com asterisk made a characteristic muffled sound. Whenever Wan Lin was about to fire, Xiao Hua, who was lying beside Wan Lin, stretched her right paw forward, followed by the sound of gunfire. It seemed that Xiao Hua was directing Wan Lin to shoot. I saw the instructor grinning beside him. After ten consecutive days of sniper training, Wan Lin has become familiar with the use of various sniper equipment at home and abroad. That night, Wan Lin was still sitting cross-legged on the bed as usual, practicing breathing and breathing. Teammate Zhang Wa came to Wan Lin, what kind of kung fu are you practicing? Teach me. Before Wan Lin could reply, Cheng Ryu's cold voice rang out, Kung Fu, it depends on what kind of Kung Fu it is. Before joining the army, I was the champion of the Henan Shaolin Kung Fu competition. If you want to learn Kung Fu, you must learn real Kung Fu, don't learn some fancy things, and mistake yourself for others. What a cow, no one can get into the special operations team. It's a mule or a horse that pulls it out for a walk, Wang Dali, known as the tank, shouted in a strong accent. Humph. Cheng Ryu snorted contemptuously at Wang Dali, then turned his head and looked at Wan Lin like a challenge. Wan Lin pulled Zhang Wa, who was about to open his mouth, I'm practicing blindly, not Kung Fu. I just practiced shooting, you teach me. I just can't stand such arrogant people, Zhang Wa said while walking. Wan Lin Dao, I really admire Chen Gru. It is said that he is the shooting champion of the military region for two consecutive years and the holder of several records of military skills. He should be proud. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time. At two o'clock that night, Instructor Wu came to Wanlin's dormitory fully equipped, called Wanlin quietly, walked out of the camp and ran into the mountains. With the dim starlight, the two marched in a hurry for more than two hours and entered the depths of the mountain. The mountains in winter are extremely quiet, only the eyes of nocturnal animals like ghosts and fires that occasionally flash in the mountains and forests add some agility to the silent mountains and forests. The two came to a hillside covered with withered grass, an instructor Wu ordered to hide in place. Wan Lin quickly picked up some dead branches from the surrounding ground pulled up the dead grass around him and sprinkled them on his body. Seeing Wan Lin hide himself on the hillside in a blink of an eye, blending into the mountains and forests, Wu Hanyu asked softly, Where did you learn concealment? My grandfather taught me how to hide in the mountains since I was a kid. We hide every time. Upwind, if we don't move, the large animals in the mountains won't find us, Wan Lin replied softly. Suddenly, Wu Hanyu lightly pointed at the two lights on the opposite mountain, the target appears, snipe at any time. Wan Lin observed it, and saw four bright spots appear before and after the opposite hillside. With the faint starlight, he could vaguely see two black shadows rushing towards the valley below the opposite hillside. Wan Lin measured the distance visually, about four kilometers. He gently propped up the gun stand and leaned behind the scope to slowly adjust the adjustment on the gun. 
After waiting for a while, pfft, with two low gunshots, the two shadows suddenly fell to the ground. 1,200 meters, 1,000 meters, Instructor Wu, who was observing behind the scope, said secretly. Change the hidden location following Instructor Wu's voice, Wan Lin rolled on the spot and hid behind a tree five or six meters away. The two were lying behind the tree, quietly observing the valley. For four full hours, there was no movement in the valley. During these four hours, Instructor Wu found Wan Lin lying quietly behind the tree without shaking. The sky is getting brighter. Instructor Wu called Wan Lin and came to the opposite hillside, only to see two animals lying on the hillside, one in front and one behind, an elk in the front and a big wolf in the back, with a small animal between their eyebrows. Small round hole. Okay, today the base has improved life, Instructor Wu said happily. Wan Lin hurriedly handed the gun to the instructor, ran over to pick up the elk and the wolf, and held one on each of his left and right shoulders. Instructor Wu hurriedly said, I'll take one, it's too heavy. No need. When I was at home, I carried the bear that weighed more than 300 kilograms. What's the weight? Wan Lin said and ran down the slope. Back at the base, Instructor Wu said to Wan Lin, put it in the cooking class and go back to rest. I'll give Xiaohua a wolf's leg. Wan Lin asked, okay the instructor replied casually. That night, Wu Hanyu, the shooting instructor, ran to the team leader's office and shouted miracle. Wan Lin, this kid, has been training for half a month in shooting. Now he is 500 meters away from guns and guns 10 times. The first sniper training, Continuous shooting of 50 guns, 500 the distance is 498 meters and 456 meters at 800 meters. Last night, I took him to the mountain for night training. This kid took the 95 asterisk with an effective range of 800 meters and directly hit the eyebrows of animals at 1,200 meters. I have been in the army for more than 10 years and have never seen him. To such a genius. This kid is simply a sniper prodigy. Lee Brigade looked at Wu Hanyu who was ecstatic, this kid has too many miracles. His grandfather taught him Kung Fu from a young age, soaking him in special medicinal liquid every day. He also hunted in the mountains all year round, which gave him super physical strength and endurance. His visual acuity was 3.0 in the physical examination, and his vital capacity was more than 15,000 ml which is said to have reached the human limit. Wu Hanyu took over the conversation, this kid is not only physically different from ordinary people, but also has an unforgettable memory and strong comprehension. He memorized a textbook with more than 300 pages in half an hour. This should be attributed to his grandfather who taught him to read and endorse since he was a child. When I went to his house, I saw ancient books on the bookshelf, and this kid wrote in traditional Chinese characters, Li Brigade replied with a smile. Time passed quickly like a white horse, and the 3MONTH training camp was over. In order to test the training effect of the newly established No. 3 Squadron, Admiral Zhong, the commander of the military region, accompanied by Minister Gao of the Operations Department, went to the Special Brigade training base. Commander Zhong looked at the Li Brigade who was approaching and said, Little Li, I came to see our little mountain people today, you won't let me down, no, we have designated him as a sniper, this kid is too it's amazing, said Li's brigade and led them to the shooting range. Salute the commander of the 3rd squadron ordered the team members waiting in line at the shooting range. After running to Commander Zhong, report, all the officers and soldiers of the 3rd squadron are lined up, please instruct. Commander Zhong returned a military salute, let's begin. Pa pa pa. The crisp gunshot sounded immediately, and a row of small apple-sized balloons moving fast 500 meters away exploded. Commander Zhong nodded. The sniper Chin Gru and Wan Lin are out, cried Wei Tao, the captain of the 3rd squadron. Yes Cheng Ryu and Wan Lin came to the team. Slow Commander Zhong raised his hand and pointed to the small black dot moving quickly in the sky in the distance, fire at any time, and the observer records the shooting distance. Yes, 
Cheng Ryu and Wan Lin replied at the same time. Immediately, he knelt down on one leg, aimed at the flying black spot, and quickly adjusted the bolt on the gun. Pf Chen Gru's muzzle first emitted a puff of smoke, and the black spot in front of him fell down, pfft with the first gunshot, a blue smoke also appeared from Wan Lin's muzzle, the shadow behind him also fell. Report, the first shot is Confucianism, and the distance is 1000 meters, the second shot is Wan Lin, and the distance is 1200 meters, the observer reported. With the report, the shooting range burst into applause. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. Com Commander Zhong cheerfully looked at Cheng Ryu and Wan Lin as not bad, turned around and said to the two guards who were following behind him, Xiao Li, Xiao Zhang, haven't you always wanted to compete with the little mountain people, I'll give you this time today. Opportunity Following the voice, Xiao Li, a taller guard, stepped forward, and Li Brigade said, let's go up together. The two looked at each other and at the same time came to Wan Lin and said I'm sorry, followed by two hoos, Xiao Li raised his foot and kicked Wan Lin's lower yin, and Xiao Zhang punched his temple. I saw that Wan Lin's body suddenly dipped, and he got under Xiao Li's legs. He lifted his left hand up at the base of his thigh, and Xiao Li's body was already flying towards Xiao Zhang, dodging behind Xiao Zhang, he slapped Xiao Zhang's armpit with his right hand, and Xiao Zhang flew out from Wan Lin's outstretched left leg, just dodging Xiao Li who was smashing over. In an instant, the two were lying on the ground. The two of them rolled up and stood up one by one, looking at Wan Lin with flushed faces. At this time, all the members of the third squadron opened their mouths, and there was no sound. After a long while, I heard the deafening roar of OK. Cheng Ryu opened his eyes wide with a look of disbelief. Not bad. Commander Zhong walked to Wan Lin's side and was afraid of his shoulder. He turned to Li Brigade and said, in order to deal with some thorny problems, the military region has decided to form a capable team from the existing personnel of your special team that can handle special emergencies. You choose the specific personnel, the name is determined by you, and the specific requirements are determined by Minister Gao Ranged, after speaking he returned directly to the military district with two guards. The first release of this book comes from 17K Novel Network, so watch the genuine content for the first time.